it's bubbles and welcome back to my channel also welcome if you're new so we are on part two of our harry potter series and last time we just got through the intro and did our first spell challenge which was rick to Simpra. so let's keep going oh there's a trading guy or not <laughs> harry said nope <laughs> The weekly house point ceremony is about to start. Follow me and I'll show you where it is. <laughs> Lit. <laughs> I like how they just sit there and stare at you like, what are you doing? Come on, I have stuff to do. You can stare at me all you want. I'm getting my beans, dang it. They're mine. They're all mine. Nobody else can have them. I can't go on that yet. It'll burn me! Anyway. Good morning, everyone. For those of you who have trouble remembering names, I am Albus Dumbledore, Headmaster of Hogwarts. Welcome to the very first weekly house point ceremony of the school year. The house with the most points wins a visit to the Bean Bonus Room. Bean bonus the length of the visit depends on how many more points they have over the second placed house. Let's take a look at the scores. Oh, it appears that Gryffindor is in the lead. Harry. It looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. Good luck, and remember, you only have a limited time to collect beans. Dang, we whooped their butt. <laughs> I love that they added this because, okay, funny story. When I first started playing these games, the only one I had actually played was the third one. So, Prisoner of Azkaban. And they had a bean bonus room in that one, and I love it. <laughs> it's so fun. Um, so when I started investigating these older games, I saw that these two are really good, and that there was a bean bonus room in this one, and I giggled. <laughs> beans! So many beans! So some of this I can't do yet, because I don't know the spells, but I'll visit them later. When I get those bills, gotta collect all the beans. Mini bean. Mini collecting beans later. <laughs> right here isn't it yeah it is freaking frick is it just beans or is there a card uh i don't know <sighs> we'll never know hurry there you are glad i found you hello what's up time for quidditch practice harry none of the other teams have started training yet so we'll have a good head start but i haven't had lunch yet <laughs> you can eat later Follow me to the quidditch I bench. can't eat later. I'm a growing boy. How dare you make me starve? I'm going to eat you now. And then ha Harry turned cannibal. Hey, Harry, want to No, try? I don't. Leave me alone. You cannot have my beans. They're mine. You cannot have them. Hey, Harry. No, I really don't. We buy and both. I, I really, really you. don't. You know, y'all stole hey, my Harry, beans last trade? time, and I was kind of nice the best to you. In Hogwarts. Hey, Harry, want to trade? We buy in bulk and pass the savings on to you. Frick up. <laughs> you stole my beans last time, and I was nice to you because I knew what you Listen did with them. But now we're you're just a sure when the Quidditch Cup this year, and the way we're going to do that is practice, practice, practice. First, a quick recap of what we learned last year. Of course you already know that the red ball is called the Clawful, and it's the job of the three chasers to get it past the enemy keeper and into one of the goalposts. But you don't need to concern yourself with that. 
There are also two bludgers flying around, which you don't want to get hit by. But don't worry, each team has two beaters who try to keep them away from you. Last, and most importantly, it's your job as our Seeker to catch the Golden Snitch before the enemy Seeker does. Since you've been off all summer, let's start out easy. I'm going to throw up a Snitch for you, and I want you to try to catch it. Sounds easy enough? your arrow keys to steer your broom left, right, up, and down. Quidditch is a rough game, Harry, but don't worry, padding helps. They changed up the mechanics for the if second game just a little bit. So it's a little different, and I kind of suck at it now. That's it, Harry. Stay Gib, right on the Gib, snitch. give me a snitch. Please, please, please. Please don't hit me in the butt. The oh, it hit me the in the butt. Oh dear. Give me that. <laughs> now the rest of the Gryffindor team is here. Let's play a mock game of Quidditch. Avoid the Bludgers and the other Seeker. I'm going to have a Gryffindor stand in as an enemy Seeker. You'll need to make sure she's out of the way before you can catch the Snitch. Don't worry. They'll take it easy on you. No, they're going to beat me up. <laughs> This stupid kid! <laughs> yes, let me at it. Let me at it. Put a will help soften blows during the match. Remember, Harry, do not put your hand out till the enemy seeker is out of the way. No, mine. Give me. Give them a good night so you can catch the snitch. Frick. 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 No, it's mine. It's mine. Gib. No! <sighs> you heckin' hecker. Excellent work, everyone. You're back on form, Potter. Which means You're you back on form. I freaking shit. lost, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> don't look now, but here comes a Slytherin team. I don't believe it. I booked the pitch for today. Boo hoo. Hey, I've got new brooms and and it looks like Yes, they are! They're Nimbus 2001s! Yeah, I know. Apparently, Lucius Malfoy made a very generous donation. Like our new brooms, Weasley. What are you doing here, Malfoy? I'm the Slytherin Seeker now. Didn't you know? Perhaps someday Gryffindor will be able to afford new brooms. Well, at least no one on the Gryffindor team had to buy their way in. They got in on pure talent. No one asks your opinion, you filthy little How mud dare mud. you! You'll pay for that one now, boy! Well, at least I could afford it, Weasley, unlike you. Leave it, Ron. Harry <laughs> just slides in trouble. like a. <laughs> M Malfoy, you need to drink your respect blood women blood juice. <laughs> the name some wizards use for other wizards who were born to non magical parents. And speaking of mud, October Speaking of damp mud. at Hogwarts, what the heck? spreading a soggy chill over the grounds and into the castle. A different kind of chill would soon set in as well. A, a spooky one? It's, it's getting close to spooky it's season. It's time for potions class with Professor Snape. Oh we dear. We don't want to be late. You know what he's like. It's down in the dungeons. Follow yeah, me. he's just permanently grumpy. Even though I love him to death, he's just permanently grumpy. <laughs> In the first game, he sent me down to the dungeons to die, basically. <laughs> I swear to god, this always looks like a freaking secret room, but this it's not. To the dungeons. It's not. Dang it. Oh, bug. Oh, I didn't mean to step on it. Oh, come on. You frick. <laughs> now, you might be wondering. Why wouldn't I step on a spider? I don't know. Now pay attention. I don't know. <laughs> Today, you will attempt to learn the art of mixing one of the most useful potions ever concocted. The Wigan Weld Potion. Potter, you have just volunteered to show the rest of the class how this is done. Get up here immediately. A 
Wigand Weld potion will restore some of your lost stamina. Even a single bottle is capable of healing the most grievous wounds. In this chest are the two ingredients of Wigan Weld potion. Flubberworm mucus and Wigan tree bark. Take them out. Mm, mucus. <laughs> now, walk up to the cauldron. Try not to touch the potion. I don't want it contaminated. What if I just... What if I just... <laughs> Where are you going, boy? Get back over here and complete your lesson. Um, but I don't want to, Snape. It's too hard. <laughs> Observe Mr. Potter adding the ingredients to the cauldron and mixing them. Careful, Potter. You don't want to lose house points. Mr. Potter now has a Wigan Weld potion. To drink the potion, press space bar. Back to your seat, Potter. Those of you who are adventurous, or more probably clumsy, will no doubt want to make Wigan Weld potions on your own. Therefore, there are cauldrons like this one throughout Hogwarts. They are the only cauldrons in which Wigan Weld potions can be made. And the ingredients, flubberworm mucus and Wigan tree bark, can also be found throughout Hogwarts. Now for today's lecture, the history of flubberworm mucus extraction. Sounds painful. <laughs> Before that lecture, I thought I knew everything I wanted to about flubberworm mucus, and I was mm. right. Well, I thought he touched on some interesting aspects. Nerd. Let's get going before Snake comes out. I'm just kidding, me too. Yes, let's go investigate Harry's delusions again. See, this isn't a normal Harry Potter thing. It's him discovering that he has schizophrenia. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> ah, and this part of the castle is kind of cool, though. Mrs. Norris! Oh, that's horrible! What's going on? Enemies of the air, beware! You'll be next, mudbloods. Man, screw you, Malfoy. She's been petrified, but how? I cannot say. And now, I would like everybody to please return to their dormitories. There's nothing else to see here. Come on, Harry. Professor Dumbledore's right. There's nothing more to see here. Yes, Ron, I can hear him. Thank you. <laughs> Everyone at Hogwarts was disturbed by the attack on Mrs. Norris and the mysterious words scrawled on the wall. Rumors and speculations spread. Hermione in particular was especially affected. Ron and Harry became sure that she was up to something, but whatever it was, she remained tight-lipped. A girl's gotta have her secrets. Now, now. We have to get to Charms class, Harry, and I have an idea. An idea about what? We should ask Professor Flitwick about the Chamber of Secrets. He's bound to know something. Let's go. Cool. <laughs> He's my head of house, because I'm a Ravenclaw. <laughs> yeah. Hurry up, Harry. We don't want to be How the chance. hell did you get up Come there on, all me. the way that fast? Like, what? what are you doing? Then again, she's got... Well, it is magic. Maybe I should... <laughs> Maybe I should shut up. <laughs> Bains. No, no, no. Come on now. 
Give me them. Gib. Gib the beans. Don't be a cheapskate. I'm surprised Filch didn't come and try to kill me when I discovered his cat. Back to break more valuable school property. I said, Are you valuable school property? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, come on, really? Okay, I'll have to remember that for later. <laughs> Welcome to charms class. Today, we shall be learning the scourge charm. Scourge! Yes, Miss Granger? I was just wondering if you could, uh, tell us something about the Chamber of Secrets. I deal with charms, Miss Granger, not myths and legends. Please, Professor, we all want to hear. Oh, very well. There were four founders of Hogwarts, Godric Gryffindor, Salazar Slytherin, Helga Hufflepuff, and Rowena Ravenclaw. Slytherin wanted to admit only the wizard-born students to Hogwarts. The other founders refused, and as a result, Slytherin left the school. Yes, Miss Granger? He built a secret chamber in the castle of which the other founders knew nothing. With a great monster to guard the chamber from within. The legend states that one day, Slytherin's true heir will return to open the chamber and control the horror within. And then, all who are not wizard-born will be purged from Hogwarts. All nonsense, of course. <laughs> All nonsense? Magic. Really? Perhaps Come on, Flitwick. You're supposed to be intelligent. <laughs> Glad to, Professor. I like how they just slid in casual genocide in here, or the idea Try of it. Try to focus <laughs> on all this Chamber of Secrets, Balderdash. Concentrate on the symbol in front of you. The wand is about to move its way around the symbol. At the exact point when the wand passes over the arrows, you'll need to hit the corresponding arrow key. This exercise has three levels. In each level, you must successfully hit all of the arrows in sequence. Ready to try? Round one. Go. I like the squiggle. I like the color of the squiggle. It's very pleasing. Hey! You poopy head. I hit that right. You didn't even give me a chance. How dare you? Give it another try. Rude. I'm not that bad, okay? Jeez. I'm a sensitive bean. <laughs> You've advanced to the next level of the lesson. Five points to Gryffindor. Round two. Go. Watch me screw up every single round. What? I has never glitched out on me like that before. That is Give not. Another try. That's not me. <laughs> You almost have it down. Huh. That's weird. I don't know why it was doing that. Whatever. That's fine. Again, watch me screw up every well single one. done, Harry. You've advanced to the next level of the lesson. Ten points to Gryffindor. Round three. Go. Oh no. There's something in my eye. No! <laughs> you poop. You're screwing me up on purpose. How dare you? I'm offended. Give it another try. Don't waver, Harry. You almost have it down. Gotta blink the pain out. <laughs> Yeet. <laughs> well done. You've 
you've completed all of the necessary exercises. Fifteen points to Gryffindor. Well done, Mr. Potter. You've successfully learned Scourge. Now it's time for you to test your newly learned knowledge in the Scourge Spell Challenge. Welcome, Harry Potter, to my Scourge Challenge. To complete the challenge, you must find the completion star, which can be found several floors below us. Try to get to it as quickly as you can. If the challenge timer reaches zero before you have the completion star, you lose the challenge. Along the way, you'll find challenge stars. Collecting challenge stars will boost your timer and score. I highly recommend you try to find all of them. Try to get the completion star with as many seconds remaining as possible. The higher your score is when you complete the challenge, the more house points I will award you. Woo. Mm. Seven, okay. There are seven secrets. I like that they show us how many are now, so we can keep an eye on it. Come on, don't be stingy. Give me some more. And everything, man. Ectoplasm is an unpleasant greenish substance left behind by certain ghostly beings. In some places, it will block doorways and openings. You can cast Scourge to get rid of it. Ah, uh, yes, it's just ghosts shitting everywhere. <laughs> the usual. Nothing to see here. There, there's one in here that I can't freaking find. One secret. And I don't know if it's glitched or what, but I can't find it. There. Hm. I swear that should be something. I don't know. This is why it confuses me. <laughs> you can also cast Scourge to free items that have been trapped by ectoplasm. Nice. Can somebody tell this ghost to go use a proper ghost toilet? This is disgusting. Disgusting! How have you not... <laughs> How can you not flush if you've had a shite? It wasn't me. Well, it was freaking one of yous. Disgusting! Can, can, chill. Chill, Harry. It's fine. You don't need to get on the line. It's fine. There are some interesting secrets in this one, though. Ectoplasm takes away some of your stamina, Harry. The longer you're in contact with ectoplasm, the more stamina you will lose. No! No! Stop it! I don't appreciate being fired at! Come here, you stupid frog. Okay. Who was keeping beans in that? <laughs> Okie dokie. No, stop. Nobody likes you. Water. I like your name. It rhymes with so many insulting things. 
Aha! I didn't know Spotty was insulting, but okay. You made me do the ha ha's. <laughs> Stop throwing your poop at me. That's disgusting and unsanitary. <laughs> If I go too far, it'll close. <laughs> uh, I have to clean the poop off the walls too. Uh, it's everywhere. I hear stupid turtles. Interesting. I know you got beans, lady. Yep, you do. <laughs> Dang. The freaking gargoyles is so cool. Beans. Mini I don't care if I have full health, I want you. <laughs> mm, the ghosts are doing the ha-ha's and That's not creepy. Oh, hi, how are you? Don't sneak up on me! How dare you? Where the frick am I going? <sighs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, why am I back here? What the heck? It's fine. I feel like I haven't found any- Okay, I found two. Wow, okay. I feel like I'm not finding them all. the crap out of me. I didn't know what that was. Wait, what? You hear that? That's one of those trolls. How did I get in there? Okay, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, hopefully we find it. I don't remember ever encountering the troll guys that you throw at the, like a bowling ball in this one. So I don't know if it's glitched and I just can't get to it or if I haven't found it. I don't know. I'm freaking frick. 
Come on. Move your butt. The little glowy lights. They're nice. Look at that mucus. Delightful. I want to know who thought up the process of extracting the mucus. That's what I want to know, you know? Because, you know, half the stuff, things that happen that get invented. If I could English today, good God. <laughs> Half the things that get invented are from accident or war. Interesting. Oh, I should have put that other one on the far one. Oopsies. Let me see if I can just... Excuse me. Come on. No, I don't want you to go that way. Go that way. There we go. Perfect. Genius. I'm a genius. I'm so good at this game. Gosh. I don't even care it's for kids. <laughs> Is there anything? Anything? No. Okay. I have gone down here for no reason, and now I'm so- oh wait, no I'm not, I'm fine, okay, cool. Anyways, I have made a grievous mistake. <laughs> Your slithering noises make me uncomfy. Only two? Really? You freaking cheapskate. So try to avoid them. I hope I didn't just, just screw that up. Oh my god. Please don't tell me. Where does it go? Where did it go? Does it go far down? I, I can't remember. What the heck? We can go backwards, what? I don't know. I just don't want to miss anything. I'm gonna be so mad if I do. Oh, this will give me all the beans. Okay. Go use a toilet properly, you stupid. Is it in here? Aha. Uh -huh. Here we go. I'll deal with the frickin' pixie later. Turtle. I feel like I missed something in the other room. Okay. Well, we're just gonna ignore it right now because I can't go back. <laughs> What's that? Was that, my, that was behind me, right? Yes. Oh, oh, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Lit. Okay, how many more? Two more? Two more. Okay. Cool. Yeet. 
Bad Pixie. Bad Pixie. No, oh, now you're shitting on the ceiling. Really, dude? Good God. What are they... Number one, what are they feeding you? And number two... What the heck? Where are your manners? Gosh. <laughs> There they are. Okay. Good. I'm, I, at least I'm hoping that's what I was hearing on the other side. Because I don't know if there's more in here. Because I can't remember. <laughs> I'm just destroying everything. <laughs> I'll deal with you guys in a second. I like how they're just running around in that room. <laughs> Yeet. And strike. Oh, hell yeah. Three beats. Oh, sweet. I am so powerful. I have more health. Woohoo! Okay, I gotta clean this shit off the floor. <laughs> I didn't goof that, did I? No, I didn't. Okay. I wasn't sure if there was stuff on the other side, but it's over here. Nine out of ten. Okay. I need one more and two more sneaky places. Bad. Bad. No. You cannot slime me. Aha. There it is. Okay, we need one more sneaky place after this. Unless we're done. Well, crap. I don't know where the other one is. I swear, I don't. Because it's not... I don't know. I just don't know. Oh, you son of a bleeb. Get out of here. Get out of here. Bad. 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 I don't know. I'm probably gonna have to look it up. I probably won't get to it in this playthrough, but done, Mr. Potter. You've I've never been able to find it. Challenge. The remaining time now becomes your personal high score. Oh wait, no, ten. Okay, I don't know about sneak. No, I'm pretty sure I missed one sneaky place, but I got all the stars, so it's probably it probably has a card in there. As long as it's not a silver one. The weekly ass point ceremony starting soon. Again? Dang. Well, we're gonna have to do that next time because I'm gonna wrap this up because this video is gonna be too long. So, I hope you enjoyed this this episode. Please come back for more if you like, and I will see you guys next week. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.